camera's not looking. <coughs> Ding bong. Let's play. Alright. <coughs> Don't remember what got left off on, but we're in Ice Palace. doing significantly better than a run I was doing in my own time. That, that run sure happened. That run was a fucking nightmare. Ah, I lost my sword beams. Fuck. Just doing a run in my personal time of this. And I had to fucking, uh, <clears throat> I was basically forced to mock ball, which should be a big problem, uh, except that I managed to do it. <clears throat> I somehow managed to get the mock ball in Brinstar. So that was interesting. I'm really hoping to only have to go through this dungeon once, but uh, I have a feeling uh, it's going to be at least twice. I hate how tough those are to hit. <coughs> I was also significantly richer in my other run. I had like 2,000. Oh god, it's this room. Ugh. This room sucks dick. This room caused me to eat up a red potion because I got down to one heart. <clears throat> Shit. Alright. Still not doing particularly great this time. but a little better. <laughs> Mostly because I've had to go through that room a solid like four times in that run. And that, uh, that really sucks. Leave it open, I don't think it matters. Penguinos. I also have an uh, an ice palace map uh, open. Um, I need to double check where to go from here. <coughs> so. <coughs> All right. Normally we'd go up. I'm going through that locked door since I have a key. That would lead me to other things. That would lead me to the map room. Okay, I'll, I'll go through that. Even though I'm not supposed to be there yet, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go this way.
bush. Okay, so that's one non-dungeon thing. I haven't really been keeping track. <clears throat> so we're going to want to head back over on this side. So this takes us into map room, which we're really not supposed to be in yet. But, uh, but we can. We can now. Ah, shit. Shit. Key. Good to have. Opens that door, which takes me to a chest we could have seen before, but we didn't over here. This is uh, <clears throat> through that um, through that ice room with the button that had the other door. Uh, this was on the other side of that. Campus. Okay. So we have, we just need the map, <coughs> and we still have a key. All right, so so we'll just go back the way we came. chest is uh there we can whoosh hookshot is very essential to this dungeon in, in a room we will see soon enough okay so d this other doorway uh leads to oh that's how i got there before okay I mean, I can do that. It doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna be in that room anyway, so I'm not gonna not gonna bother. Uh, from here, we need to go. I believe, yeah, we need to go up. <coughs> Floor is gonna start falling. Don't worry about it. Just fall in. Here, we're supposed to go because yeah, where we just were was uh, was after this next room. But since we got that prematurely, uh, we can just move on. So we we don't have to. Because D would just lead us back to where we just were. We don't have to go there at all. Because that... Cause this is room six. This is six. Uh, it would take us to seven. Which means... Which... Because we had that key. We got to do that. Well, that was a good use of a heart. I, I dislike this room for various reasons. Uh, what's below here? Each, which takes me, oh, to a couple of keys. Hmm. <laughs> well, nine drops me off down around there anyway. I'll, I'll unlock it. Uh, where this next room is going to take me, uh, we need to go anyway, because there's the big chest. Shit, actually. Um, fuck. Oh, 
because we were supposed to come here the other way. Okay, actually, we, we do need to go back through seven. Shit. Shit. Ice physics can suck my dick. <clears throat> yeah, this room exists. This is what's on the other side of that of that uh that other door. We're just gonna we're just gonna cape and get out of there. Using up a lot of magic, which is not good considering the boss. But quick and easy way to get around. See if this guy has anything on him. <clears throat> Ice room. I'm just gonna sit here. Get, getting down stairs is definitely a little uh, tricky. There's a boogie woogie man in here. Yeah, fire rod takes a good chunk of magic. It's a good thing I have half. Otherwise, I would be long since out of magic. Big chest. Bombs. Okay. Um, we're playing this basically as it should, because this is actually where we get blue mail normally. So, not too far off of what is normally here. Um, so up leads to the sixth basement, which which we need a small key to be able to do anything with, so we can't move on quite yet. <laughs> so there's no point in going up right now. Uh... Yeah. So this way there is normally a small key right here. As well as a button somewhere. What are my bottles looking like? A lot of fairies, okay. Um, I'm gonna let that anti-fairy come back around here and heal up. Shit. Ah, fuck. So with that key, we could have also gone down from there, and that will have taken us, where would that have taken us? That would have taken us, oh, that, that, that's where, okay. So that, w that would take us back to that big ice room next to where we had to fall, where we had to bomb and fall through. Uh, there, there's a key chest there. I should, I'll, I'll, I should go get it, so. Again, oh, I don't have magic. Minor problem. Oh, 
Okay, problem, no magic. Alright, I'm just gonna have to fucking pray. Okay, there's map. Magic drops. Shit, okay. I really don't want to go back through that room. So, we're gonna go up. Because it's a pretty quick way back. Ah, shit. A lot of hearts, but there's also fucking boogie woogie man over here. He thankfully does not move that fast side to side, but he moves pretty quick up and down, so I gotta be careful. Why does this room feel like it has extra ice? Like extra ice physics. Just fuck me again. Alright. I don't even know where this is gonna lead me. Oh, th this is still good. Because this just. This would put you on the other side of the, the big chest, which you wouldn't be able to get to. God, I need magic. Have, I don't have a key. Where am I gonna get a key? All right, let, me, let me see what I've overlooked. Um, so I got both of those. I got that one. There could have been one that I that I overlooked. So let's see. So one, two. So yes, yes, yes. Yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I think I got every possible item. Oh, did I not get that chest? Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Alright, that sucks. I didn't get a couple of things, actually. From, from the looks of it. Th there's at least one that I missed. It's looking like two, so we actually have to warp back to the start of the dungeon. Shit, I don't have magic! <clears throat> okay, this is a problem. Um, fuck. I, I have to, I have to leave and go. Ah, shit. <sighs> fuck. Alright.
Yeah, sound was delayed. That was bizarre. Oh, that does two damage, even with balloon. Fuck. Okay, I think I killed these guys and got the key. Just double checking, because that's one of one of the two missed that I, that I was thinking of. Other is one that's not that obvious, and that's down here. Wait, I did get this. In that case, um, shit. to see if there's any way for me to get all the way to there while having the blue down it doesn't really look like it other than maybe tricking it out with with a bomb but that's iffy at best I'm supposed to have a key. But that means I can't get to the boss. Um. Shit. Um. Okay then. I know I got that that chest. I got that key. Wait a minute. I don't think I got that. There's something in uh, that room that I don't think I got. So let, let's just play up to that. That's not too far. Egg that that this one room gives it's so bizarre. And we're back in the hell room. I'm 
just going to take this nice and slow. Because red needs to be down here. Otherwise, you can't get get through. Here we're supposed to go, I believe, up normally. Yeah, we're just supposed to go we're supposed to go up normally, but I want to go over here. I very clearly missed something. God, yeah, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. With a small key. Now we can go finish the dungeon. God, that fucking fire rod still takes a lot. Uh, once you press it, if you come back up here, there's fairies through these holes. Speaking of... Haha. I remember what I got to do. I got to press this. Oh, why are you a douche? Ugh. Okay. I'll save as many of those as I can, but I might come back to get more magic. So, we need to press that. Go up. Push one of those down and go back through. Hoping for a little bit of magic, but oh well. I do have full health, so I'm not too concerned. But I can get through this with full health. Alright, well, I guess I'm checking those pots. Oh, why are you here again? Alright, fucking transform, bitch boy. Alright. Um, and the heart's gone. That's fine, I've got full magic. Um... I guess I have to push down a specific one. Alright. It's a little dumb, but... But fine. And why do these fuckers respawn? Yeah. 
Okay. I can only push down a couple of them. Uh, I think I might have borked something here. Fucking one of them. Very. Okay. Okay. Uh, did I fuck the dungeon? Alright. God damn it. Um. Shit. Well, um. Maybe I can get to the other side of this. That's definitely going to be some looping around, but... I think... Yeah. Okay. Some minor looping around, but I, but I can get out of here. And get to the other side of this. It's not easiest thing to do, but especially with a fucking anti-fairy being up pain in the ass every three seconds. Knocking both my health and magic away. Ugh. You know, I have my green potion for the boss fight. Do I move normally with, with it? Or is this just... Hmm. There's all of my magic, I just have to not use any more getting to the boss. Okay. That will throw me back down here to the other side. I'm just ignoring it for now. Kind of hard to do, but maybe I can reset it in here. Come on, hit the wall. Yeah. Nothing in any of these. Shoot. Okay, yeah, he reset. No, he didn't. God, prick. Why? 
game, are you a dick? I can't pull. Okay, um... God, is it really gonna be a fire rod only kill for that bitch? I need to save my magic. Ah, fuck ass. Alright. Oh, what the hell. Okay, then. Yay, a little bit of magic. Arrows and a bomb. Magic, magic. Okay, that reopens that door. Um, oh. I hate when it's always only one of them moves. Well, I wish I had a little more health and more magic. I have my green potion, so it is what it is. And three fairies, so. And my magic. Chug. So this is kind of similar to the uh, to the centipede fight in desert. Where there's three of them and things are going in directions. Just a pendant. Actually, that's all of them. Oh shit, I can go uh, I can go do the sword pedestal. Dope. And I know that I got all the chests in here. So, this palace is cleared. Dope. So close to full health. One heart piece and two containers. It, did I clear Super Metroid completely? Apparently, oh, right, arrows, and I don't know if I ever checked spring ball location, because I only recently got grapple. I doubt it's anything special. It might be one of the heart containers, or an E-tank. It could have, it frankly, could be spacer, but. So, I can go talk to Sarasasla, or whatever the fuck his name is. And I can check the Master Sword pedestal. Cool. Whoosh. I thought I went and killed Aghanim this- Oh, I guess that was my other one. Fuck. I thought I'd killed Aghanim this time around. I guess not. Here, I also already handed off mushroom. I already got, um, 
I already got a lot of things. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not too worried about it. Um, this way. At least I didn't have to mock wall in this one. See if I can figure my way through this forest. There's a fake Master Sword pedestal. It'd be funny if. Not that it can be a, one of the swords, but that, that would have been funny. Power bombs. Great. <laughs> Lovely. You know what, maybe it's a good thing that I haven't gone and killed Aghanim. Aghanim can be a pain in the ass. Not particularly tough, but makes doing anything later a pain in the ass. Kind of fog around here and cleared up. That's kind of cool. Changed a little bit. Whoosh. Super missiles. And I think Lumberjack Tree is locked behind Aghanim. Yes, it is. That's a little bizarre. So. Um, fuck it, I'll go do Aghanim. I don't want to, but... I mean, I am so close to being done, I may as well. I'm coming here and grab a heart. Although, that will mean I do have to be careful about, um... About, uh when I'm saving and quitting to go to places because if you kill Aghanim and you save and quit in the dark world it will always spawn you on the pyramid which is a, just a bit of an annoyance but it, it's just mirror over to light world and then you can and then you can do it, but. So I am not worried in the slightest about the Aghanim fight. It's not that hard, it's getting to him that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Because there are a lot of tough enemies on the way there. 
having my sword beams is definitely helpful. There are no extra chests. They are all the same. They're all keys. Or whatever the fuck that it needs to be. So, I probably won't get to Aghanim with full health. I'm gonna damn well try. But it's probably not gonna happen. I saw enough to where I should be able to. They're, they're definitely pretty aggressive on your way to Aghanim. not going to have an easy time getting to to Aghanim. this one when it goes out so I have pressure light going into next room. It's real easy to to lose your full health in this. Especially with uh, with these douchebags. If they get locked onto you, it's a real pain in the ass. I'm, I'm managing to get decently lucky. In this situation, I don't know how I didn't get hit. I'll take it. but uh it's effective and we're here I'm gonna save state after this cutscene just in case I don't think I'm gonna die <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna die four times since I have three fairies on me but uh just just in case I fuck up horrendously and need to do it again but no frankly the agonim fight is rather easy it's just being lined up to hit the shots back is a little tricky you have to be pretty well lined up 
because your uh, your stuff won't hurt him. Just his magic w uh, will. He's not tracking. That's lightning. Yeah, if he goes up in top center and he's not tracking you, he's shooting lightning. But if he is, it's uh, his his magic attack or his ice. I don't know how many hits it takes to get uh, to kill him. It's like five or six. It's not. It's not too bad. Not tracking. Get up and out of the way, cause that does a lot of damage. No matter how, no matter what armor level you have, it does. I think even with red mail, it does a full heart. And that puts us at the pyramid. It does give a full heal and full magic restore, which is nice. But uh, bonk. Okay. However, getting off of here is a little annoying. We have to go like down here and mirror. Because if you try to mirror up top, uh, you, you'll you just get like, warped immediately back. Also, now there are a lot harder things fucking everywhere. Uh, there, are th there are guys even all over Kakariko blue and the uh, red pitchfork guys they're fucking everywhere and it's annoying so so I'd advise defeat Aghanim only if you think you'll really have to or if you're going for a hundred percent because it's not just those guys that increase as well Last I remember, there was only ever one bird up there. Yeah, now there's three. And they are seemingly more aggressive. I don't know how true that that is, if they're more aggressive or not. It sure fucking feels like it. The guys are definitely more aggressive. The bee. Whoosh. I think I double check. Yeah. Whoosh. Keep. <coughs> Missed pack. Figured I'd check. Figured I would check. Okay. So that's Light World uh, completely cleared. Um. So we have Turtle Rock to do, Eastern uh, Palace of Darkness, I should say, to do, and Swamp Palace. There's a lot. Uh, I'm sure a lot of these extra chests are just going to be rupees, because I am only missing one piece of heart, only and only two heart containers. Uh, there still is a third progressive shield and the red mail, so that's what? Six items? Five items? It's five items for Link to the Past that aren't, uh, that, that can be gotten. There's still quite a bit for Super Metroid, on the other hand. It's looking like there aren't anywhere near as many missiles, but, like... The five, five items in Link to the Past is easy, is just one of these dungeons. So in Swamp has six. So I th I don't know what the counts for everything are, but like we're we're still not quite done. There's still uh, whatever this is. I think it's arrows, as well as uh, spring ball, which I don't think ever got checked. But that it but so. Uh, we're gonna dispel uh, what those are here in a moment because we're gonna go 100% Super Metroid we're not gonna finish Super Metroid yet we're gonna wait until Ganon's tower is unlocked so basically we're gonna wait until 
final boss for both is unlocked and every possible item is gotten. Now, if I remember right, that means we do have to beat Link to the Past first. So. Uh, sadly. Well, not really. Never mind. Um, oh, shit. Is it this? No, this is the Norfair one. Um, we need to... We need to access Dark World over by 8. Let me, let me double check that there's a Dark World portal over there. Yeah, there's one at, um, on the island again. But that's Ice Palace, though. Fuck. Um. Shit. Um. Fuck. Okay. So. I'm, I'm gonna warp to Death Mountain. You can never catch a break on Death Mountain, frankly. I always get hit at least once going to the warp point. <coughs> We're still missing Spazer, actually. So from here, we're gonna go up. So 165, 65, and 45. Our counts are correct. E-tank count is right, and I know everything else is. But I'm gonna do a quick double check. So all four reserves, all bold suits, all miscellaneous, all three boots. So yeah, it's, it really is just Spazer and uh, missiles, super missiles, and power bombs and D-tanks. There's still a bit left. Um, So I'm going to go get uh, this stuff now, just so I don't have to in the future, because this will be it for Super Metroid. This will be the final two items in the game. I know one of them isn't useful, but it, it'll get me to where I need to go a little bit. Uh, it'll get me to where I need to go for Spring Ball at any rate, so... I'll just grab it just because I don't I don't even think that one's locked behind spring ball. I think I just didn't get it. Yeah, cuz it's on the one side. I I just didn't get it because it was uh because it was something not useful. I believe arrows, just like a pack of arrows. Sink into the sand. Let the sand consume you. Yeah, it's just arrows. So I'm still gonna grab them just cause. Oh, that's right. Those are uh, ball blocks. Blink. Oh, it's one arrow. What a bitch. All right. All right. <laughs> Wasn't even ten arrows. It was one fucking arrow. All right. And now for spring ball. Which we could not get until we had grapple. Which wasn't until rather recently. Blow up. Fuck, took too long. 
Well, I guess we we're waiting for this guy to go all the way around because we can't go through this stuff. It just shows up as wall. On only this man's can go through there. So we're going to be sitting here for a moment. I'm going to mark off the arrow. Boing, boing. Hopefully it's at least an E-tank, but honestly, it, the chance is not great of it being something useful. It might just be missiles, but again, even missiles at this point are going to be useful in making sure I have enough uh, ammo for the uh, Ridley fight, or not Ridley, but Mother Brain fight. Or it's the mirror shield. Okay. Yeah, I'm very happy I went and got this. Okay. That's uh, spring ball gotten. And as for where I'm going to warp, I'm going to warp here in Meridia. Because that takes me to Dark World. Ooh, actually, eh, I, don't think it it, I don't think it matters too much. All I know is the place to get to, uh, to the warp, uh, it kind of sucks. Because you, you need to either bomb jump or spring ball for it, but, but we have spring ball, so it's not too much of a problem. It's just going to be a little bit of a pain to get to. Um, another one of these randomizers uh, I was doing on my own time I think treated me treated me even worse than this one this one may have been annoying at some points but at least it never forced me to do advanced tricks cause uh the uh, the other one that I was playing fucking made me do mock ball to get uh, the Pegasus boots. Because Hookshot in, in that one is also locked behind, was locked behind something really stupid. I think it got locked in Turtle Rock or some shit. I don't remember, I because I had to look at the playthrough because I was super stuck. Shit. Um, I believe it's just through here. did the fucking mock ball which was very surprising it's also a little annoying but oh well this is not where I want to be okay but I forgot I, I have to go up to uh, bottom area it's where the uh, the missile recharge here normally is 
this time it's the warp. little hidden away area. And warped to um, here, wherever here is, N near Eastern. Yeah, so. This is, this is getting interesting. It's weird thinking that I've, uh, that I'm gonna have beaten both of these games to a hundred percent, uh, before long. Considering beforehand I'd have, I, I have never beaten either of them. Um, I'm trying to think the fastest warp. The fastest warp w is actually going to be uh, staying here. Er, fucking I warped to the wrong spot. Is actually going to be staying in Dark World. I didn't think about it. And just resetting. Dum dum dum. All right, let's go back to the portal. So yeah, ju just resetting will take me to the pyramid, which is pretty close to Palace Darkness. Whoosh! As long as you're in Dark World and you and Aghanim is defeated, uh, saving and resetting will take you back to the pyramid. Or saving and quitting will take you to the pyramid. Yeah, you lose your health, but but it's pretty quick. Cause I'm not too worried about health. Um, I wish I had red mail, but oh well. <laughs> Frankly, there's a pretty good chance it's in this dungeon. A heart. I'll kill what I see to try and get some some hearts, as well as try to remember how to get into the bloody palace because that's Sarasasla's hut. Um, in Dark World, and there's just a little tree guy in there. if I remember. Hey, a fairy. Real close to to full heal. Come out this side and we have a monkey with us. And okay, and he fucking runs away because he's a bitch. Go recollect him if we get damaged. But he's right at the end there, so it's not that bad. Let's just be careful. 
and take him here. He will take a lot of your money, a hundred rupees, and open the temple. Or palace, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Alright. Um, Spice Palace, I'm gonna want... Okay, I've finished Misery Mire, so... Balance of Darkness map. Just because I don't trust myself with this. Okay. Yeah, because this is a this is a big this is a bigger dungeon. Oh, it's this boss. Oh fuck. I don't want to do this boss. Uh, hell. All right. Let's let's get her going. So we're gonna want to head. We're gonna want to head over here first. These guys can be a little annoying to deal with, but hey, take a fucking guess at what the boss is. It's a big one of those fuckers. I believe Mirror Shield deflects these fireballs. Yeah. Yeah, I got a big ass shield. first key we're now gonna want to go into B over here in the second doorway you're gonna hit this so just hit it again Try to get my health up. So I can have my sword beams. Because they're useful. Teleporter. Bomb wall. These fucks. I believe only the bow can take care of the red ones, so definite pain. I'm not gonna grab that just in case. Easy enough. Now that I have full health, I can kill these guys from a distance. Granted, I could before, just with, uh, with various other things. Small key. This map is a little convoluted, so it may take me some time. So, is that just fairies? Fairy pond, okay. So, we're gonna want to... 
I'm gonna open this just because. So, fairy pond that way, what, where we need to go, this way. Binky. Okay. Normally a small key. Um. I'm trying to see where we need to go next. So there's a teleporter. So we need to go back a bit. Or no. Maybe, possibly. says that so that it's a teleporter I don't know how to get there I think ju we just have to go back at this point I I'm not gonna bother uh, keeping track of chests because I'm just gonna get all of them as we go and once the dungeon is finished I will mark them all as gotten. So. I've got the map open for a reason. Let's warp back out of here. And these guys respawn. Little annoyances, but, but we have a small key so we can go through the uh, the center there, uh, which allows us to get to point six, which is where we need to go. I, I guess I skipped over a point somewhere on this map. Yeah, this really wants you to have bombs. I think the dungeon item is the hammer. This is supposed to be like the first uh, adult dungeon, or adult dungeon, yes, because this is Ocarina of Time. Uh, this is supposed to be the first dungeon you do as uh, in Dark World. Whoosh. Wants us to come down here. Oh no, there's monkey. Yeah, because up here is a later. That this is what normally leads to the boss key door. So I mean that will take us back here. And we're gonna want to go on the other side and blow up the walkway. Not doing too bad so far. Definitely doing better than I was my first time in this dungeon. Because I think through this is nothing special. Yeah, that, that's something for later. So there's a small key I, in there where we need to go. This is where we need to go right now. So this is right where we are. <laughs> This is right where we just were. Okay, I thought this was a little bit later. I guess not. Supers, okay. 70 super missiles, okay. So we get this. Um, so that's point eight. Okay, I see where we need to go next. So we need to go back. Um, around to things. We need to go back to, um, back past that elevator 
room where the dungeon map was supposed to be, where the and where we were next to the fairy pond, and and use the hammer. So I guess we would have hammer by this point. I thought ha hammer was the dungeon item. What the? I guess not because uh, we were supposed to get there a different way than what I'm doing. But the way I'm doing is fine because we have the hammer. I'm not supposed to at this point. Ding. Get dinged, bitch boy. Dungeon is easier than I thought it would be. I, I mean, it is supposed to be the first of the uh, of the Dark World dungeons, so I guess that's fair. But no need to catch that one. I will take the extra. The arrow refill. Not gonna bother. Wrong thing. Thwack. Jump. I'm supposed to get down here. Um, if I remember, there is something that's here. Or not. So. to be red it's red okay there, there's a switch where we're going anyway but i'd rather not have to press it yeah these, these mimics are a real pain in the ass uh if you don't have the bow because the red one can't die to anything else even the level four sword doesn't touch it it needs the bow Plus, you need the bow for this. Which will... I'm clearly missing some things here, but... I've, I've clearly missed some steps in this dungeon. But, oh well, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I can still get through the dungeon. Okay, I need it to be blue. And onwards. Lost a heart. Not too big a deal. Oh my god, there's a lot of the. Oh my god, I flipped eight. Of, I flipped fucking four of them. Okay, that opened the way. You know what? I'm gonna. Fucking fuck you, both of them. I don't know what one moves and in what way. There we are. This teleporter leads us to point 12, which we've clearly missed some things that we'll have to come back for. But, I mean, we have the big key. We don't have the compass or the, uh, the map. <laughs> we missed the big chest. We missed a lot in this dungeon. 
but we're gonna kill the boss and then we're gonna go item cleanup. Boss, we have to hammer to break that. And this thing hits hard. It also has that annoyance. This boss is not the easiest, especially considering the the hammer's not too hot hitbox. But level four sword, it dies pretty fucking fast once you get once you get it off. Only five hearts of damage taken. Any tank, nice. Yeah, ha having all of them will be having all E tanks will be really nice from other brain fight. Alright, we're not done in this dungeon, not by a long shot. We missed at least three chests. So, so we got some item cleanup to do. <coughs> uh, first and foremost, we need to head straight. Push this off, but don't follow it. Go through here. First chest. One of many that we missed. Um, from here, we need to jump down. That is probably an all enemies um, thing. Uh, jumping down uh, jumping down I, I need to lure them because jumping down with them right there is a veritable death sentence now as for killing this guy we just go up here and kill him didn't hear the door open, so we're going to not waste an arrow. Be fast about it. So, I take it that's a one-way door, then. Which is fine. There's other ways to get to, to that spot. The spot I'm concerned about is through here. There's the boss chest, and here's a disappearing floor. Um, from here, uh, we can go that way. I don't think it's going to close on us. Um, this is, I believe, going to have to be a small key. It's a, it's a heart container. Okay. Uh, from here, we have two options. They both lead uh, down near the boss area. So we're going to go do both of them. There's also anti-fairies, but there's rupees. Red rupee. These rupees are a little annoying to get. They have a weird hitbox, or it feels like they have a weird hitbox because of the the flooring. Now we can actually uh, lighten up the place a bit. Oh, uh, if you get them on one side, they're gone on both. That sucks. Small key. 
anti fairies are a large source of annoyance in life. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Alright. So that's the small key that we need. Um, if we go down from here, there is a chest, but there's the big chest and another small chest, so I'm gonna not go down. But all things considered, that I'm sure that one has a small key to make sure you don't get soft locked out of two possible items. At least that would be smart, but who knows. God knows I'm not smart. I can't figure out my way through mazes. Oh, this is just bombs normally. It's the campus here. There's another one right here, which should be a small key. Or the dungeon map. I think I need a small key. Yeah, it's just a bomb meaning that this one is a small key. How fitting for a bit for the big chest to have a small key. <laughs> or miss what? Wait a minute. So there's one left. Is that the only one? Okay, that's the only one. Okay, so that one, it doesn't matter. So that one would have been a small key. Uh, we can't go and get it anymore. Uh, because in the chest that needs a small... The chest locked behind a small key has the small key. Uh, meaning it's out of logic. Like, the game will always give you enough small keys to make sure you can get through the dungeon no matter how you play it. So, it, it, there can be a small key locked behind a door, locked behind a small key door. And it's not a problem. Meaning that we got all the non-dungeon items for Palace of Darkness. Because that's the only other chest left. It sucks leaving a chest unopened, but we know that it's a small key. And Helm's working. Okay. We have two left. Swamp Palace, which is the second one. Supposed to be, I'm assuming. And Turtle Rock, which is supposed to be the last one. So, we're going to save Turtle Rock for last. Um, however, I think that's going to be it for today. Maybe I'll just do, like, one dungeon a stream. And so, that'll be two more streams, and then the game will be done. So, we're going to finish this up for today. And I'll come back to this tomorrow.